Hey YouTube, how's it going today? Uh, this is the No SHTF channel coming at you uh, to tell you about a uh, little bit of work that I'm going to be doing to my uh, monster computer over here and uh, tell you what I'm up to now. Uh, get in front of her over here. So, <clears throat> basically what we got, let me try to get a better view on here. Alright, so basically what I've got going on here is my uh, beloved Plex store uh, DVD-R finally died on me, so I'm going to be replacing that and I found a kind of a bulk deal on uh, Amazon for uh, some uh, LG Electronics uh, Blu-ray recorders, much like I have in uh, this machine here. Uh, these LGs. Uh, bought a couple of those on Amazon. Uh, they were like 29 bucks a piece, so I was like, yeah, boom, I'll take a couple of those. And uh, so I'm going to be replacing these two drives uh, that are quite old and kind of on their way out anyhow. Uh, and since I was going to be in there ripping stuff apart, I don't know if you saw that, but behind these uh, two fan grades, uh, I have six uh, Raptor drives, or Velociraptors, or something like that, uh, and uh, I'm going to be pulling those out, and I bought myself another set up like these, but they're made for really slimline uh, hard drives, so you can actually fit six. Again, more upgrades. Uh, in uh, preparing for the new version of Adobe, uh, the uh, editing and animation software that I use, uh, the Adobe CS6 Production Pro Premium, whatever it's called, uh, going to be uh, doing some upgrades to the PC, making it even faster still. I got these two drives, or volumes rather, for uh, my input and output files uh, for uh, After Effects and Premiere, uh, the way uh, things render, fastest thing you can have being done is never be reading and writing from any one volume simultaneous to uh, the output. So basically I'm going to have these two guys as my uh, input and output files and then I'm going to use this third uh, set of discs as uh, my operating system. Uh, yeah, just wanted to do, uh, show you roughly what these hard drives were like. Uh, here is one of them. I just got my box in the mail, so these are actually Seagates, not uh, Western Dig like I thought. They're Seagates, uh, momentous 7200 RPM, 320 gig drives. Um, Kind of cute, but just to give you uh, an idea how big they are, or how big they aren't, this is a credit card, or basically a gift card, just regular credit card size, uh, you know, not very thick, but uh, these are pretty thin drives, so pretty cool. I'm excited, I can uh, fit. A whole bunch of them in here. So basically, you uh, have the drive tray. These drives just slide right on in. And uh, you screw them down from the bottom. Uh, like this. And that's about all there is to it. It's easy. Right, but anyway. Uh, basically, I'm going to have these three drives in here, and then I bought these two LG drives, the uh, Blu-ray recorders, to replace my old Plex door that is dead now. I've loved that Plex door; it lasted me about eight years. Great drive, and uh, the Sony. I've never been happy with it. It's kind of a piece of shit. So uh, getting rid of that. And uh, the only problem I'm going to have is one of these fan controllers is going to go. 
Uh, so I'm going to actually get them off of these two fans here. I'm just going to kick those up to maximum and uh, also going to be replacing them with, uh, where did I put them? Here. <clears throat> these guys. I don't know if you guys are uh, familiar with these, but the Shark Aero Cool uh, fans are kick ass. Kick ass. Uh, I'm just multi tons of blades on them. Uh, it's got about three times more blades than your typical uh, 120 millimeter fan in there. Uh, so they also will run a little quieter. Now this, move these down to here. So I'm going to have my two CD ROM drives here. The and uh, the fan controller. And then the three hard drives here, here, and here. So, show you what that looks like uh, in a little bit when I get this monster ripped open and uh, taken apart. I'll give you a tour of the inside. Here are the fans now that are currently in it, and uh, I'm going to get these replaced right now and uh, just take a look at the difference in uh, blade structure here. All right, uh, a little bit cleaner in here now. Definitely. Uh, looks kind of out of control with all these hard drive wires, but uh, actually there's a lot of breathing room in this case now. A lot more than there was before down there, especially uh, all kinds of room up there. Yeah. A lot of room up there. Plenty of room there. Kind of a tough place for wires. I hate doing wiring. Maybe you've noticed that. And anyway, the front of the case looks pretty bitchin'. Uh, rearrange the uh, fan controller up here. And two Blu-rays. Uh, what do we got there? Four, eight, 14 hard drives right there. And then these uh, badass Super Sharky fans. So, uh, and fire it up and see if it's all blue. It'll be sweet. I like blue lights. Very cool. Kind of ghetto, but uh, yeah, it's working. Third fan isn't plugged in, so we don't get an REVM reading from that. But hey, other than that, seems to be functioning. Eh? So. Uh, I'm going to install Windows yet again this year.